All right, so I'm about to head into work right now, and today I plan on getting some really, really cool little fish to add to the hexagon tank. Somebody had actually brought them into the store the other day when I was here, and I had never heard of them before. Uh, I've seen some barbs that look similar to them, and I thought that's what they were. I thought they were actually snakeskin barbs at first. So I plan on getting all five of them today if they all look good. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to head on inside and check them out. By the way, they're called panda barbs. I don't know why I didn't mention that in that first clip right there, but uh, anyways, back to the video. So these are the five panda barbs right here, and as you can see, they are looking really really nice but you can probably tell why I thought they were actually not a panda barb and something else at first because they look really really similar to uh, snakeskin barbs so there's five total that's actually one of the bigger ones right back there in the back so there's that one there's that one there's that one right there that one and that one right there so we're gonna get all five of these guys and like I said put them in the hexagon tank and I think they're gonna look really really good by the way we just got a new little shipment in of some really, really big and nice albino quarry cats. And if you look right up there in that corner, there's actually a little African butterfly fish. So I'm gonna get all these guys bagged up and head home and get them into the tank. So I'm now back home with the panda barbs and I actually miscounted. There was actually six of them in the tank, uh, but they are looking really, really good. And I think they're gonna look even better in the hexagon tank along with the other tetras and the two electro blue jack dempseys. Now, I told you guys, let me, Shut this light off so we don't freak them out. But I told you guys about the two Electro Blue Jack Dempsey's, how the bigger one, that's actually the smaller one right there, but the bigger one had become really, really antisocial and uh, was starting to get really aggressive. Well, since in the past few days, he started to not act like that at all. He started to come back out a lot more. Now, of course, I did kind of freak him out when I walked up to the tank with a bright light on. But now, up until about two or three months ago, I had really, really struggled with getting them to grow. So one thing that I started to feed them, along with the bloodworms and the brine shrimp and the mysis shrimp, were some little bitty cut up pieces of some frozen shrimp and tilapia. And I noticed when I started feeding a little piece of that here and there to the bigger Jack Dempsey, that's when he really started to grow. So I think it was really that extra amount of protein added on to the other food that he was eating. I think that right there started to get him to grow a lot more. So here recently, I've started to feed a few little pieces of frozen shrimp and tilapia to the smaller Jack Dempsey. And I've noticed in the last like few weeks that he has started to grow more and more. So for any of you out there who have Electro Blue Jack Dempsey's and you're struggling with getting them to grow, now, like I said, they're really slow growing fish anyways, but you're not really noticing any growth out of them, try feeding them some little frozen chunks of some shrimp and tilapia and see if that gets them to start growing a lot more. So I'm gonna let those guys finish up acclimating, but while they acclimate, just to give you guys a quick little update on the two little baby Frontosa, they are looking really, really good. These guys have finally started to grow a little bit more as well. And uh, by the way, the crayfish that's in here, he'll come out here in just a second. He's in his cave right now. He's been doing really, really good and eating like a freaking hog. And for those of you who haven't seen the new look of the African cichlid tank, well, uh, it probably looks a whole lot different to you. I took out the big rock formation that was right there in the middle and added in a piece of driftwood. And then I also added in two pretty naturalistic looking artificial plants. These are artificial, so they're not going to look completely real. But I try to pick out the best looking one, so that way, obviously, it would make the tank look as good as possible. But we've only got four fish here right now. We've got the black line pike right back there. He's been doing really, really good. We've got the lemon cichlid and the two Cynodonis catfish who are doing really, really good as well. So, I want to start adding some more African and peacock cichlids back to this tank. So, if there's any peacock cichlids in particular that you guys think I should add to this tank, then please let me know down below in the comments. I'm thinking like at least like one dragon blood, like a sunshine, and maybe an electric blue Ali. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Also, the flag tail is looking and doing really, really good. This guy has really started to eat a whole lot more here recently, and uh, he started to become very, very used to me. You can see he's not spooking not one bit at all. There's the Jack Dempsey right there. A big Jack Dempsey. That's not an electro blue Jack Dempsey. That is obviously just a normal old Jack Dempsey. My oldest fish, one of my biggest fish as well. And uh, he's doing really, really good. And oh, look, look who's out. The Albano Bicer. That is kind of a rare sighting for this guy. Usually when there's no food in the tank, this guy is uh, usually hiding behind the log somewhere. But he is out and about right now. Pretty cool. Alright, so I think we've given these six little panda barbs enough time to acclimate to the temperature of the water. So we're going to go and take these guys out of the bag and get them on in the tank. Alright, and there they are. Check them out. Man, they're going to stand out in here. I don't think it's going to take these guys long at all to settle into this tank because they were very, very active in the tank. They had only been at the store for about two days. And I think once they settle into this tank, they're going to look really, really good and be up here schooling with all the other tetras and barbs. Hopefully that... 
There's already one of them up here. But we'll give these guys a few days to kind of settle in the tank and all that. And when they're eating really, really good, I will be sure to show them to you guys. So the panda bars have now been in the tank for a few days and they've all done really, really good. They're all schooling up here with all of their tetras and barbs and uh, they're looking really, really good. So I've actually got a little frozen cube of some brine shrimp right here. I'm going to go and drop this in here and watch them just tear it apart. Oh, 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 look at them go. And they'll just go up there and just start breaking it apart. But you can see one of the panda barbs getting in on right there. And oh, look at them go. They are just tearing it apart now. Look at that absolutely love it now I've noticed that one of the panda bars has actually become a little bit territorial to that little indention of uh, the rock right there and it's one of the bigger ones let's see if I can find him yes yeah, so that one right there he just has become a little bit territorial to the other panda bars not to the, any of the other fish but only to the other panda bars well I say that and he goes and chases the glow tetra but for the most part he's just been going after the other panda bars but yeah they're all doing really really good you can see the rest of them up here Trying to get in on the action of that brine shrimp, and I think it is, uh, yep, it's all going now. There's the smaller electric blue jack Dempsey, the bigger one. He's all fattened up. already fed him earlier. He's just back there chilling behind the Amazon swords where he's always at. But all of these little guys are all doing really, really good. Quick little update on the top gubby tank because, of course, we have that one down there as well. But I've been showing that one a lot, and I haven't really shown this one in a few videos or so. But I don't know if you guys remember... When I got the first batch of the blue velvet shrimp, there's actually one of them right there. But what came with them was a little bitty thing of that moss right there. And I didn't really think anything of it. And I just said, what the heck, it was another free-floating plant. So I just threw it in the tank. And over the course of like the past month or so, this thing has went crazy. But the one thing I really, really like about it is you can actually see the shrimp a whole lot easier when they get on it compared to when they get on the guppy grass. As you can see right there, that guy is really, really easily to spot compared to if he was, you know, like I said, on the guppy grass. But it has started to take over, just like how that guppy grass was when I first put it in the tank. But all the guppies and endlers are all doing really, really good. There are tons and tons of babies in here. They just actually recently had a new batch of babies. Both of the females did. Uh, but they are all looking and doing really, really good. And there's just, like I said, tons of babies in here. But the panda cores are doing great as well. There's one of them right there, and so are the zebra loaches. Let's see if one of them will come out here in a second. Uh, but there's actually one of another one of the blue velvets right there. He's kind of hard to see, but he is right there. But they're all doing great as well. There's one of the zebra loaches coming out right there. Uh, so this tank is uh, doing great. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like down below. And hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And also let me know what you guys think of the new panda barbs. If you like them, if you don't like them. I hope you guys do like them because honestly, I think they're a really, really good fit to the Hexagon tank along with the other Tetras and barbs and the two Electro Blue Jack Dempsey's. And also, if there's any other fish that you guys think I should get for any of my other tanks, then please let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, you guys, with that being said, I will catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.